Frank, you had a great piece. USA Today, you wrote an article about men playing in women's sports. Quote, not a fair fight. Our athlete daughters shouldn't have to compete with transgender women. I can't imagine why this would be a controversial take, and yet in this day and age, I'm sure it's been met with some criticism. I, my mind was pretty blown when it first came up. I actually, uh, when, when people first started sending me articles about transgenders competing and being accepted, and some of the things going through with the Biden you know, uh, act, I was blown away. I, I was like, wait a minute, is this, uh, are you sure we're not watching The Onion here? You're not repeating something that's satirical, correct? And no, sure enough, people want to be accepted so much that they're willing to go ahead and break norms that just make no sense whatsoever. Hey, look, there's a difference in the sexes. We see it in the military. We see it in sporting events. You know, XX, XY chromosome, there is a difference. There is a small select group of people that fall somewhere in a gray area, but that could be left up to the councils to figure out what's going on with that. But if you have, you know, a Y chromosome, you want to compete against double X, you have an unfair advantage. You went through puberty. I mean, there's a difference between my son and my daughter who have the same genes, but my son now, who's two years younger, is exponentially stronger than my daughter, and they both train like monsters. It just There's just no making up for physiology. It is what it is. Uh, and so there's just a point where we have to, I understand trying to be inclusive, but we have to also be not afraid to hurt people's feelings and sit there and go, hey, at the end of the day, there's certain things you're just not gonna be able to change. For example, you're never as a man transferring over to a woman, you're never gonna give live birth. It's just never going to happen. And so there's certain situations where it's like, look, science has gone far away, but so now you're telling me my daughter can't have babies naturally because it's unfair, that's gonna hurt someone's feelings, it's gonna trigger, make you feel uncomfortable, you're not accepted. To me, that's the mindset there that now my daughter is gonna be competing against men because you want to be able to say well she's a woman through and through no she's not it, it, it blows me away how there aren't even i mean feminist groups not that i've really ever been on the side of the feminists but i can't believe they're not leading this charge right here what's healthier for women than sports teamwork physically healthy it's great for women and this this is the end of it it was uh, i forget i don't think it was ufc it wasn't long ago a professional fighter a man decided he was a woman and fought one of the best female mma fighters and caved her skull and almost killed her this is terrible yeah. it ruins women's sports which is great for women yeah, you're seeing records being broke down in cycling and weightlifting where you have men that have transitioned over into women. And it isn't fair. The whole reason, you know, sports is a phenomenal venue for people to test themselves, push themselves. And look, women on a whole, and I'm not saying there's not exceptional female athletes that can compete with some men. Uh, there are some women in the gym. I mean, there's women that bench press 400 pounds and there's men that can't. So there are those exceptions, but they are not the norm. So if you want a platform where our daughters can perform and compete against each other, get scholarships, maybe continue on to be a professional athlete, you're going to now mix in the men. It's like, well, then why do we have the WNBA and the NBA? If we're all just going to compete together, then let's just throw it all together. You know why we don't? Because it'd be the NFL. There'd be no females competing. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me. Thanks.